Hey everybody, it's Adam Arkfeld with Paracor, and today we are talking about the Facebook Pixel because what the heck is a Facebook Pixel? Now, if you don't know what a Facebook Pixel is, you don't know what anyone's talking about when they're talking about the Facebook Pixel, that's what we're going to talk about is the Facebook Pixel. So, I am in Paracor's staging account. We don't do anything in this account except for mess around with stuff, so there's nothing in here, but this is an ads, uh, this is part of the ads manager that you're probably familiar with. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up here to this uh, hamburger drop-down menu. It's called a hamburger, in case you didn't know that. It's kind of a weird name. And then we're going to head over to Pixels. All right, now, the Pixel for Facebook, really the entire purpose of it is that you can install this code onto your website, and then any, anytime somebody visits that website, that Pixel in the background fires and it notifies Facebook that this person visited your website. Now, in many cases, that person is logged into their Facebook account because basically everyone has a Facebook account. So I'm logged into my Facebook account, I go to a website, and the website says, hey, this person visited the website and it's this Facebook user. Now, it associates you with your Facebook account. That doesn't mean that the advertisers or you, if you are an advertiser, can see the exact people that are hitting your website. That's not the point. The point is that a Facebook account is associated with a notification to Facebook. Then when that person goes back to Facebook, their activity is tracked throughout the web. And so um, the most common use case of that is someone's on Facebook or logged into their Facebook account. They go to a website. That website notifies Facebook that a user came. It's flagged to that user anonymously. And then when that user goes back to Facebook, they might see an ad from the website, which is called a retargeting ad. Okay? So the idea of a pixel, that's like, that's like, the, basic, um, that's like the basic use case for a pixel is that you're using it for retargeting and seeing how many people are visiting your website. It'll also show you just how many people in general but uh, you, you really want it for the use case of Facebook. So we headed over here, uh, it says data sources, and I, I have not finished setting up our Pixel, we don't have any website to install this on, so this is great. So if I hit View Setup Instructions, you can use Integration or a Tag Manager, so this has Google Tag Manager, Magento, Segment, Shopify, BigCommerce, all of these, a lot of them have their own integration that makes it a little bit easier, but we're gonna hit Manually Install the Code Yourself, and there are really two pieces to this. The first one is, if you know anything about development, you have a head section of your code. Now, if you don't know anything about development, don't worry about it. But if you do, there's the head, and then there's the body, and those are like the main pieces, uh, the main sections of your code. Now, the head block, uh, you put a lot of scripts in there, you put different, um, you, put, you put header tags in there, you put all sorts of things in the head block, basically allows you to like load load scripts and, and call in you know information from other websites. So you put the Facebook pixel in the head block if you know anything about it. And if you don't, don't worry about it. And then here's the, the pixel code right here. So this is um, what, what you do is you take this code, you don't mess with it, but all of these codes have a unique ID, right? So here's the ID, 192182628. This piece right here is unique, and it, it's also right here, is unique to your account. So everybody has the same code, but that ID is different. And remember when I said just a second ago that when someone visits your page, it notifies Facebook that someone saw the page? That's what you're seeing right here with this page view. So it's saying um, Facebook, um, initialize Facebook, and then it's saying track a page view. And there are other things you can put in here that I'll talk about in a second. But so you have your unique ID code, and then you have your page view. So basically, if you put this on your website, someone goes to the website and Facebook says, hey, um, someone visited this website. What website is it? Here's the ID code for the website. Great. And then it says, uh, what did they do? They visited the page. Great. And then that's it. Then you're building an audience. Okay. You also have the option to do uh, automatic advanced matching where you can collect different customer data. This is a different thing. You have a, uh, a privacy policy for this and you have to update your privacy policy for this and, and you have to be careful but you can choose specific data, and then you can test it down here by putting in your website. I'm also gonna create a separate video that shows you how to look on your own and determine if a website is tracking, if the Facebook pixel is installed correctly, and what data it's tracking. We're gonna do that in a separate video. So those are, uh, that's just the basics behind it. Now, if you aren't familiar with a website, you can just send this uh, code to your developer, and you can email the instructions right here. There's a link at the bottom. See, again, here's the pixel ID. So this is the email that's gonna go out. Here's the pixel ID, here's the code. And then in the description, it tells you exactly how to do it. It says, put it in your, oh, I'm sorry. Um, somewhere in here, it says, put it in the, in the header tags right here. So 
so it's telling you where to put it. And then you can also do event codes, okay? So the general pixel just basically tracks if someone visited your website. You can also do custom conversions based on if they, if they visited a landing page. So the generic pixel that you install is really cool because it tracks every single page and then you say, you know what, if someone visits this page, which is my thank you page, the only way they can get there is if they do a purchase, then I want it to be a conversion, like a purchase conversion. And you don't need to install anything else on the website. You already have the code on there, the pixel, and you're basically saying if someone visits this URL and this pixel fires, I want it to be a conversion. And that's what the custom conversions are, which, um, which we're not gonna get into in this video. Uh, but you also have event conversions and there's nine predefined event conversions. So I'm gonna click this. Um, I think this is gonna tell me exactly how to do it, yes. So what we saw was we saw track page view. It doesn't show it here, I thought it might, but you do have view content. So remember when we were back here, and I'm gonna close this guy down, start it up again, manually. We saw Facebook track page view, right? Remember this, that's saying someone viewed the page. You can add additional events and you can add that someone um, did a search on your website. You can add that someone viewed a particular piece of content, that someone added to cart, added to wish list, initiated a checkout, most of these are for e-commerce, add payment, track the lead. So we do leads a lot when someone just uh, filling out a form on a, um, on a landing page and it's not really a purchase, it's just a lead or completing a registration for, for like an event. And you can see here, this is a snapshot of what it looks like. So we have the code, this, all this other code, one and two, or excuse me, two is your Facebook tracking code. And then three is the piece that we're talking about right now. You can add additional pieces. Now, this becomes interesting because as you, as you uh, build e-commerce uh, funnels, you can send a bunch of traffic to a website and then you can say, oh, someone initiated checkout but they didn't go any further, they just hit the checkout button. Uh, and then you can retarget them if they didn't actually check out or someone added payment info, but they didn't get any further or they added the cart. So let's say someone's shopping on your e-commerce site, they're going through, they add a product to your cart, uh, but they don't check out. So you can actually retarget that person because now you've fired an event and you've notified Facebook. This thing right here says, hey Facebook, uh, we're gonna initialize this page, one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, ten, uh, nine, zero. We are gonna track them as a page view, so view the page, and then also this person added something to the cart, added this URL, this page to the cart. So that, um, so then you can then take that information in the ads manager and say, how many add to carts were there? And I wanna show only people that have added to the cart this ad, you know, did you forget something or whatever the case may be. So uh, that's pretty much it. In most, in most cases, the platforms that you're using, Unbounce, uh, a website, or or lead pages or whatever, they're gonna have a place where it says add some sort of tracking code. And you're gonna say add new piece of tracking code and you wanna remember that it goes in the head part of the website and then you're just gonna copy and paste this code in. If you have a thank you page, you're gonna add in maybe uh, a track a lead. We use lead a lot. You might do track a purchase then add a purchase value. Um, but lead is really the one that we use most often unless we're doing e-commerce then we're doing all the purchase stuff. So that's it, that's a Facebook pixel. The Facebook pixel is really just a snippet of code that you put on your website and then you, um, that you put on your website and then it basically notifies Facebook that there's activity happening and you can do a lot of different things with that activity. But um, I highly recommend that you just send it to a developer if you don't know anything about coding or if you don't know anything about WordPress. And then in another video, I'm gonna actually show you how to determine if the pixel code is installed correctly and how you can double check that work to make sure that it is installed correctly. So you can stay tuned for that. Uh, but for now, that is the Facebook pixel in a nutshell. Thanks a lot. My name is Adam with Paracore. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below or like, or, uh, like the video or subscribe to the channel if you want more information just like this. Thanks a lot.